Bible says, Psalms 37 and 23, that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Pastor, this scripture is so reflective of you because you get excited about walking with Jesus, about walking and running for Jesus. And it's amazing that upon first meeting you, uh, I was surprised to find out that uh, you hang out with your wife on Friday and Saturday nights uh, rather than being in other places, which is something that I kind of saw in other places. But then after being Sister Judy, it kind of allowed me to realize and know why you were excited about being home on Friday and Saturday night with your wife because family is so much of who you are. You've been a blessing to, to me, to my family. And so the pastor, Sister Judy, we are just so thankful not only to have been connected with you, but to have been able to just experience you, to know you, to love you, and for you to know and love us. Your example has been amazingly beautiful uh, and so reflective of who God is. And so we're just so thankful uh, that you walk what you talk in role models and examples of godly living. Pastor, you always say when you come home, she doesn't say, hello, Dr. Stubblefield, as, you, as she greets you. But it's beautiful that you can be who you are uh, in God and still celebrate life and celebrate him. And so on tonight, we just thank you for the impact you've had on the Rogers family, for Tamara, for Ariel, Elise, Ashley, Christopher, and Aubrey. You're a blessing to us, Pastor. And uh, we celebrate you and we thank you. So, Pastor, as I look at the corners and corridors of this video, I see 15 points. Do you want to know what they are? Let's take a look. Hello, Pastor Stubblefield and Mrs. Stubblefield. I want to congratulate you on 20 years of substantive, transformative, biblical, Christ-centered ministry. All of us who are here in this region across this country have been blessed by your ministry. I'm thankful to know you, to have your friendship and your mentorship. Congratulations again on your retirement as well. Um, I know that God has great things in store for you, for your family, your grandkids in this next season. I'm grateful to God for what God's doing in your life. Once again, God bless you from Central Baptist Church. This is Pastor Anthony Roddy saying God bless you and happy anniversary. Pastor TD and Judy, this is Brett Dempsey in Lincoln with Cast Bank. Just want to say congratulations on your retirement. And we are so very thankful for your long-standing friendship. We so enjoy uh, this relationship and look forward to staying in touch with you going forward. Hey, Pastor and Judy, this is Pastor Al and Teresa Edney from Willot Road Community Church. And we just want to say congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations on 20 years of ministry there at First Baptist Church of Chesterfield and your pending retirement. You've been a true blessing to Teresa and myself, and you've been a blessing to a lot of other people as well. So congratulations and Godspeed. Love you. Love you too. Good morning, Pastor and Judy Stubblefield. This is Bob Nation from the city of Chesterfield. We want to congratulate you on your 20th anniversary and uh, contemplated retirement uh, and we thank you so much for serving First Baptist Church of Chesterfield you have indeed been a very important part of our community thank you hey Pastor Stubblefield and Sister Judy it's Carlos just want to congratulate you on your retirement after nearly 40 years of faithful ministry. I'm so grateful for both of you all. Uh, thank you for the example that you have been to me, Pastor, and the way you have poured into me personally. I would not be uh, the man and the pastor that I am without you. So I pray that you all enjoy your retirement and get some rest and enjoy life. Live your best life. T.D. Snubblefield, uh, you've done it again. You ran off and left me in Kentucky. I announced my retirement. You come back and beat me to the punch. Enjoy yourself, man. You know we love you. We're crazy about you and Judy, and we just wish you all the best as you enjoy your grandbabies. Love you, bro. Hello. Greetings from Cape Town, South Africa. This is Pastor Colin speaking, and I'm so happy to congratulate Pastor T.D. Snubblefield <coughs> Uh, and Sister Judy on the 20th anniversary 
ministry anniversary at F Chesterfield. And also, uh, we want to wish Pastor Stubblefield well for his retirement. And I want to thank God for the life of that man. He's been a blessing to me. He's been a mentor. And I thank God for all the blessings that flow through the life of Pastor Stubblefield to my life. And today I want to honor this man of God for the wonderful blessings and help and support he's been giving to, to Cape Town, South Africa. God bless you and we love you, Pastor Stubblefield and Sister Judy. Hi, Judy and Judy. This is Craig Doctor, formerly with the Kirk of the Hills where I was when our sweet friendship and, and ministry together began. I want to thank both of you for so warmly welcoming my wife Courtney and, and me into your hearts and into the life of the church. TD, you have been to me not only a dear brother in our Lord, but also my loving pastor, my insightful teacher, my wise counselor, and my trusted friend. And I am so very grateful to our God and Father for his very good gift of you in my life. I love you, brother. Hello, Pastor Stubblefield. Minister Redmond here, thanking God for all that he has taught me in the work that he has done through you. Praying that God's work through you will continue to be successful through you in the saving of souls and encouraging saved souls to walk closer to him through his son, Jesus the Christ, for the glory of God. God bless you, Pastor Stubblefield, and all of your family. Hello, Pastor Stubblefield and Sister Judy. This is Mother Gertrude Davis. I just want to say what a blessing it has been to have you here at Chesterfield. I personally want to thank you for all the thoughtfulness and love that you have shown to me and my family. We would surely miss you. God bless. Hello, Pastor T.D. Stubblefield and Sister Judy Stubblefield. This is Gerald and Teresa Smith from Pilgrim Baptist Church in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, we just want to extend our congratulations to you and Sister Judy for nearly 40 years of pastoral and First Lady service. Uh, we thank God for the marvelous way that you have been blessed our ministry through the workshops, uh, Dr. Stubblefield, that you have uh, conducted for our leadership retreats, uh, as well as the marriage retreats that uh, you and Sister Judy uh, have uh, shared with our couples. Uh, we pray God's richest blessings upon you and I know Teresa has a word as well. Um, Pastor TD and Sister Judy, I love you both. A special word to Sister Judy. I just want to thank you for the years of en encouraging words and support and the friendship um, over the years and the role model that you have been for me as a First Lady. So thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor TD. Uh, we love you both. Amen. Continued uh, blessings as you grow and Serve in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello, Pastor and Judy Subterfield. This is the Sheffield. This is Doug. Tamara. Jocelyn. Jeremy. And Clarissa. It's been an incredible journey. We've been members since 2002. I wasn't even born yet. We're really grateful for you all being there for us during the ups and downs of life. And we wish you well in your retirement. All, all the best. best. All the best to you. Minister. Wise. Praise. Praying. Leading. Teaching. Help us know. What's right. Preacher. Just, just can't, can't stop. stop. Hello, Pastor and Sister Judy Stubblefield. This is Carlos Bledsoe. Hi, and I'm Samantha Bledsoe. And we wanted to send you this quick video to tell you how much we love and appreciate you. What you just saw and heard was a poem written by my son Christian in the second grade which would have been about 2001. And the assignment was to pick someone that he really respected and draw a picture of them and to write a poem about them. Pastor, he chose you. And if you noticed on that picture, there's the red carpeting of the church, you're patting your foot and you're saying, just can't stop. And that's really a good example of what you've done in our lives, Pastor. You are someone that we respect, that we love, we appreciate. And we just want to tell you that everything our family achieves 
in some part is due to the work that you have done for us at the First Baptist Church of Chesterfield and also through God. We love you and we thank you. And thank you, Sister Stubblefield, for modeling just what a classy lady uh, represents. Thank you for modeling how a woman loves her husband, how a first lady takes care of her pastor. Sister Judy, you have been so gracious, and I just want to thank you. On behalf of all the women of FBCC, thank you very much, Sister Judy. So from both of us to both of you, God, God bless, bless you, you, thank you, you and, and we, we love, love you. you. Hey, Pastor Stubblefield, from all of us here at the Chesterfield Police Department, congratulations to you on your retirement from the ministry and from the First Baptist Church of uh, Chesterfield. Uh, we wish you and Sister Judy many happy days of traveling and visiting with your family. Thank you so much for your many years of service to the community, to your congregation, and to the Chesterfield Police Department. And we're thrilled to know that during your retirement, you will plan on continuing staying on as chaplain here with the uh, department. Uh, we love you, we couldn't do it without you. So again, uh, a big congratulations from all of us. Congratulations! <laughs> I've been tickled, taunted, teased, and tantalized by the explicit expressions and radiant reflections from family, friends, all in love and fellowship. You know what? I think we got 15 more videos. No, that's enough. Come on, Deacons. Pastor and Sister Judy, in all seriousness, we love you, we appreciate you, we're thankful for you, and we celebrate you. God bless you on tonight from this faith family to our faithful leaders. We love you.